Today we're going to be making goulash, which is essentially a Hungarian version of bolognese using macaroni pasta. Now let me introduce you to the ingredients. First of all, we have two chopped red peppers, two tins of 400 grams each, 400 milliliters each, chopped tomatoes. We have macaroni, 400 grams, approximately one pound. We have 400 milliliters, approximately two cups of beef stock. We have approximately 80 grams or one cup of cheese, that's cheddar cheese. We have approximately one and a half cups of passata, which is thereabouts 350 to 400 milliliters. We have two onions sliced. We have a teaspoon of Worcester sauce a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt, a frozen defrosted cube of garlic, a tablespoon of frozen defrosted parsley, a tablespoon of frozen defrosted basil, a tablespoon of dried oregano. 500 grams or approximately 1.1 pounds of minced beef. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is take the lid off. We want to select the brown saute mode and press start. Whilst that's coming up to temperature, we want to add a good glug of olive oil, approximately three tablespoons. Now, depending on whether or not you like pepper more or less, you can add pepper at this stage or you can leave the pepper out. I'm going to add some pepper at this stage. So that's approximately half a teaspoon of pepper. And in a moment, we'll be adding some salt. Now that it's coming up to about halfway on the temperature scale, we can add the onions. We're also going to want a spatula to stir. We want to give the onions a minute or so to cook before we add the next ingredients. So the onions have had approximately a minute extra to cook, we can now add the next ingredient. So we want to add the salt. The garlic. And once again, give that approximately another minute just to mix. We now want to add the mince. That's the mince beef. And give that a good stir until the beef has gone brown. So now that the beef has now turned brown, we can begin to add the herbs. So we'll start with the oregano. Then we can add the paprika.
Next is our Worcester sauce. And finally we want to add our defrosted herbs. So we have parsley and basil. The next thing we want to do is fry our peppers. Now after a few minutes, we want to begin cooking the pasta, so we can switch off saute mode. We now want to add our stock, giving it a mix, making sure there's nothing left in the container. And scraping the bottom of the pan to make sure there's nothing stuck to the bottom of the pan. We now want to add our tomato sauce. Our tinned tomatoes. And give that a good mix. We can now add our macaroni. Now we want to make sure all of the macaroni is submerged in the sauce as it will absorb the moisture and cook evenly. Now, for the next part, we want to pressure cook the ingredients. So we just need to close the lid, make sure it's set to lock. On the pressure cooker, make sure it's set to lock and select five minutes. Manual mode. Five minutes. Now if you wish to and you have the turbo option, you can choose the turbo option which will take it down to three minutes. Now I'm going to do this on the regular, which will be five minutes. Meanwhile, I want to talk to you a bit about these. Now, these are electric pepper mills. Now, a regular pepper mill has a limitation on A, the amount that you can grind physically, B, the size of the granules, and C, the quantity that it holds. Now, these ones here are slightly larger. So these are the Tomine, and I'll link these in the description. And these will allow you to simply press a button and grind. The great thing about these is they have specific grind sizings. So you can choose whether you want coarse, medium, or fine. And fine is probably the setting I would suggest, and that will allow for the texture to be at its best and allow the flavors to be at their best. If you do want it to be more coarse, obviously you can increase the grind and increase the size just by twisting the base. If you need to top these up at any stage, it's simply just a question of pouring the contents into them and being rechargeable after they run out of battery, popping them on, out, on charge for an hour will allow them to recharge and reuse. So these are great little gadgets and they mean that you can simply pick up your pepper grinder, pick up, pick up your salt grinder, press a button, 
and you have instant ground fresh pepper and instant ground fresh salt. The pressure cooker is now complete, so we can now stop the cooking process and depressurize the lid. Now that the pressure is released, we can simply turn the lid and lift it open. Now we want to give this a bit of a stir, just to combine all of the ingredients. And once we're happy the ingredients have combined, we can then add the cheese, and if you wish to, reserve a little bit for garnish. Now this is the kind of meal that would be absolutely fantastic for meal prep. You can place it into containers, freeze it, reheat it when you're ready, and you've got a meal ready to go as and when you want it. So it's now time for the taste test. The flavours of the tomato are absolutely fantastic. It's very, very similar to spaghetti bolognese, although with the peppers, it adds an extra element of nutrition, extra element of colour, and with the macaroni, it's much, much easier to eat off a fork. You can simply pick it up. Now, if you wish to, this pasta is slightly al dente. If you want it slightly softer, you can place it on saute mode or simmer for an extra five minutes, and that will allow the pasta to soften even further. The other thing you may wish to do is you may wish to add more cheese to your preference and that will just make the dish slightly cheesier and give it another layer. Now this is an incredibly simple dish to make, very, very healthy, full of tomatoes, lots of peppers, lots of onion, garlic, lots of herbs, and wonderfully comforting. I hope you'll enjoy cooking the food as much as I've enjoyed cooking the food, and I hope you'll enjoy eating the food as much as I've enjoyed eating the food. To see the full recipe, links are in the description. The recipe is also in the description. And any further information should be in the description too. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.